Hi, if you want to see how I've been doing my hair with hot rollers, stay tuned to the rest of this video. Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, please excuse uh, the no makeup look, but today's going to be a hair video. I pulled out my travel heated, heated rollers. He forget what these are called. <laughs> They're by Remington, it's called uh, that. I don't even know if you can get this kind in the store anymore, but I have searched before on Amazon and Walmart and Target. I think they still sell the heated rollers. Um, I have used these a few times on my uh, newish haircut. I got about two inches cut off and this is second day hair. And I just wanted to show you how I help my kind of thinning hair not kind of but thinning hair to look fuller and a little bit more put together i'm gonna put a little bit of a balm on my lip first and i'll talk about this balm in my favorites it's uh such a nice product and uh it just feels so good on my lips. I have used this to sleep with. I've used it just to kind of run out to the grocery store and I just take this little, going the right way, a little brush to put it on. It's just a little bit cleaner than dipping my finger in there every time I need it. Okay, so my rollers are heated up. You can buy heat, hot rollers, that's what they're called. You can buy hot rollers in pretty much any basic size. These are kind of a medium. This is a little smaller, um, medium to large and kind of like small. So I like to use the big clips like this because they hold my hair better, especially it being thinning out. It doesn't grip as fast or as easy as it used to. Now what I first do is I take a section right on the top and I take one of the larger size, which are the red, and I just wrap it around. Whoop. See what I mean? My hair is thinner and you gotta grip it around right there. And then I do my little clip. And then I like connect it like that. And yeah, there's a little bit of hair coming out, but that's okay. Then I go and I grab like this front piece and I like the front of mine to go under. So I will take a, another big roller and wrap it around like that. And I like to pull it and make it tight up there. It gives it my hair, it gives my hair more volume, more body and that's what I'm looking for. Then I grab this side piece and I'm going to go in with the smaller roller and I'm going to go, you have to be careful because these rollers get really hot, and I'm going to go this way, which is like outward. And you can really roll your hair any kind of way. Rollers have been in and out of style for years and years. I remember being a little girl, my mom used to do roller sets all the time. I remember I used to like beg her to do mine and she would do mine and grab the wrong roller, want the green one. And when I got my hair cut, I did my hair with my curling iron and I liked it but I saw a video of somebody using Velcro rollers and I used to use those in the 90s, but the Velcro rollers sometimes pull on my hair and I'm trying to keep as much hair on my head as possible. Now I'm gonna go in with the big one, which are the red, or larger I should say. And I'm doing this all back, except for that bang because I like the way the bang looks when it's kind of swooping down. So anyway, I saw this video and I thought, well, I don't really like Velcro. I remember that it kind of pulled on my hair. So I looked around and I found these. 
and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try them out. And I did, and I just love the look. Now this back here, where I don't think you can, well, you can't see it a little bit. I'm gonna take it like in two sections, pick it up, and I'm gonna take the smaller green one, roll that back. So anyway, I tried it and I really liked how my hair uh, was so full and you see I didn't do that one tight enough no problem we'll just take it out you see they start to work right away which is really cool and um, so as we get back with the initial story so I did I roll my hair up and it just looked so nice it stayed for hours so I, I like that that kind of fluffier look you know I was a not a child of the 80s, but a child of the 70s. But during the 80s, it was my time, you know, going out with my friends and stuff and being in my early 20s, teen, late teens and early 20s. And uh, back then, you know, it was big hair, lots of perms, and lots of hairspray. Now, I don't want my hair to look that big again, but this is a great way of making my hair a little bit fuller. Now I have two pieces down here and I can take them and roll them up or can leave them. I think what I'll do is I don't have like a too large or too big. So I'll just do one small, which is fine because it's all gonna kind of blend together. And roll that back. Grab another clip. And clip that, and of course, I cannot find the other clip. Now I know I had it. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab another clip from the bathroom. I think I have some more in there, and I'm gonna roll this one back, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what how I style it. But right now I wanna pick this one up because it's dragging down a little too much. It just takes practice if you've never used hot rollers or any type of rollers, but once you do, it is kind of fun. And what you can do is you can apply your rollers, do your makeup, and while your makeup is being applied, you the rollers will. I'm having problems talking today. Uh, the rollers will set, and then you can take them out and fix up your hair. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Now they're not ready yet, but I wanted to show you how the set looks. So you see I have all in the back here and then all in the front. Now if you want your hair to go this way forward, you can take the rollers and put them all this direction like I did for this. If you want a combination, you can do like this back, this forward, and then you're just gonna have like a bunch of really pretty waves. I like my hair to have like the front sweeping down forward and then going back and hide on the top. And that's why I set it the way I set it. I'll be back. I usually leave these in about five minutes or so, maybe a little less. Clip that back up and then I'll be back and I'll take them out and I'll show you how I style it. See you in a little bit. Hi, I'm back. It's been probably about six, seven minutes. I, I usually try to leave them on, but but I usually try to leave them on like about five minutes, but it's okay. I'm going to drink my Diet Coke. Okay, now when I was reviewing the first uh, clip, I noticed that there's a piece of hair here that I forgot to put in a roller, but it'll all, it'll all blend in. And now I'm going to take off the rollers. And no particular order. I just kind of grab them. And then I like to stick them right back in here so that this is ready to close and put away. And as you can see, it creates a nice curl. We're not going to keep that curl exactly like that. Because the Shirley Temple look. And right now I just totally date myself because there's people out there they're like who the heck is Shirley Temple but anyway <laughs> she was way before my time 
but I remember watching her on Saturday mornings, the reruns of her old movies. And um, she was a little girl that had her hair all in these kind of curls. And she was a singer and dancer and actress. And if you want to know more, Google can be your best friend. <laughs> so I'm just taking these out. And I try not to, like, pull them out too hard. I'm going to be breaking apart the curl, but I don't want it to break apart just yet. And one by one, take them out. And just because I tend to be a neat person, I just like to put them right back in the machine. And I have one more. The front one. Now, back in the day, like in the 60s and 70s, women used to take this and like tease it and then form it into shapes, uh, but we're not doing that. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just take my brush and just lightly brush through those curls. Sometimes I go and take my fingers because despite brushes and everything, fingers sometimes can be your best tool. And then I play with the curl, the way. As you can see, it's not like too curly and it's not too straight, which is just what I like. I like to kind of tease that part because it'll tend to go a little flat on me, but you don't have to do that. And this is just kind of a guide on how I use my rollers. And I don't mind if a little bit is kind of sticking up like this. It just gives a cute look. Um, we can look at the back and then the side. I'm looking in my mirror in on my uh, dresser. And then I just like to like, sometimes I get a little flat up here. So I'll put just a little bit of a uh, tease or comb back, whatever you like to call it. And I think that looks really cute and it gives it a lot of body. So I'm just gonna take a little hairspray uh, one of my favorites is by Sebastian. It's the Shaper Plus. I'm so low on this. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I even had that much. I need to go over to um, CVS. They have it. And then I like to just kind of flick up my little curls. And this will, like, go... It'll, like, um, relax a little bit over the next, you know few hours but it won't be flat and that's how I do my hair so um, if you have any questions on how to do a roller set or hot roller set that I didn't cover in this little video just leave them down below and if you've ever tried to do your hair with rollers um, let me know how it turned out and I will see you soon I'm gonna be doing another video uh, right after this one so um, I hope you're having a good <laughs> I forgot to write the whole thing a good morning afternoon evening night whatever time of day you're watching this take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon bye bye I'm back again for a quick tip that I forgot to mention when using hot rollers or even velcro rollers the one rule of thumb to remember is that the larger the roller, the bigger the wave or curl. And the smaller the roller, the tighter or smaller the curl. So if you have like long hair, I wouldn't use the size that I used. And if I did, I would just use it on the, like the bottom end of my hair and kind of wrap it and then really, you know, get out those waves or the curl and turn them into waves. Uh, they do make Velcro rollers and hot rollers for large hair, large hair, long hair, and they're real big, and those give a lot of body. So um, let me know how you like this video, and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.